Hey guys, it's your girl Dee Dee, and you're watching the Dee Dee Co Show. King King. So, this is like, um, aftercare treatment for your braids, and, you know, extra stuff to it, you know, my skin, how to treat your hair after the, that's what I said. But, you know, I'm just gonna get right into the video. Alright guys, so... I already took out a lot of my braids, so I'm going to start here. I'm going to just take them out from here. And I'm not really that good at narration, so bear with me. So I've taken the braid out and I'm going to I'm going to gently remove the rubber band from my hair. Um but my hair allows it to just slip on out, but I know some people, you know, hair is getting away in their own hair. So you're going to separate, you know, it feels so good when you release it. And it's just like, "Oh, scratch your head, scratch your head." Um and yeah. Now I'm on my last one. Just take that right on out and now I'm going to show you this part and the residue that comes with it and like I didn't say it before but you know remove the the rubber bands gently as possible but mine's just slip right out because just my hair texture allows that and once again I apologize for my narration but you know I'm just doing it um so you see all the build up and I haven't even had these braids in for long I've only had them in for a week and a half I just had them for a Halloween costume. I was Janet Jackson from Pro Attic Justice. If you want to see that, go check out my IG page. But yes, this is the build up, and I'm going to uh, go on and try and get rid of as much excess hair from the braids as possible after this. And here we go. So, first, you're going to put your hair in sections I put my hair in four sections usually all the time and you're gonna use a soft bristle brush and you're just gonna start going to you know you know treat your hair gently because you don't want to just start you know your your scalp is very sensitive at this point so I try to get you know the loose tangles out and detangle it basically then you're gonna get a wide tooth comb with soft, um, what you call them? Tongs with soft, I guess, prongs. <laughs> I don't know. You're gonna comb that all the way out until it looks like that. And then you're gonna get your hard bristle brush and make sure everything is the way it needs to be smooth and easy going and then I collect the hair I gather the hair and I begin to braid I'm sorry I'm a horrible braider if you couldn't if you couldn't tell from the box braids initially I figured out I was trying to say teeth for the comb and I'm so sorry I'm so boring but if you just bear with me I get better in my narrations like I had to cut and paste cut and paste some of my narrations so I'm a little more comfortable in speaking now but you know I spelled this up but and this is just excess hair from that one piece, that one section, but I had a lot of hair come out. But don't fret, it's just hair you forgot to clean up. But anyway, I'm back behind. I'm going to remove my makeup. This is like all in one video. And I use those $1 makeup wipes from Dollar Tree, y'all. And then I use Cetaphil, and I have sensitive skin, so it's great for sensitive skin. And I use it every night. But first, I forgot to put my moisturizer on. Cetaphil moisturizing cream. And now we're going to take out these braids. But first, I'm going to show you. I use Cantu cleansing cream shampoo. And the hydrating cream conditioner for when I wash my hair. And you're going to go in the shower and you're going to wash your hair. So I take out my braids for you guys. And this is after it's all combed out and brushed out. And this is me. This is real. This is me. Alrighty. I've washed my hair. This is my texture. My hair is very, very, very soft at this point because of Cantu. Shout out to Cantu. And I put black castor oil on my hair for the smell and for growth. I actually have no idea what castor oil does for me, but I just heard it was good for your hair. For those who are African American descent. 
and I put it on my edges because I do lose hair when I put in braids on my edges and I rub it all through and out and it smells really 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 good and then next I use my argon oil and it smells freaking amazing all right and I use this for growth as well I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be now gonna let the light shine on me and then you know I put it on my edges as well I try to mask the smell but there's no need to mask it smell good and then I have very damaged hair so I put grow strong strengthening cream from Cantu as well and I put it on the ends of my hair because I get split ends very very easily and it's not even funny and you want to make sure you thoroughly put it in there like until you can't see the cream anymore and it's good I guess it's good to put in your scalp too and then you're gonna section your hair again because that's what I do uh, I can't wait till my hair gets long again you want to be very gentle because your hair is very fragile when wet alrighty alrighty and I forgot another scrunchie, so I got another one. And I'm going to use the Natural Cream Moisturizer. You only use the strengthener I used earlier and this one after you wash your hair. You, you don't use it, like, throughout the days, all right? There's another product for that, and I'm not going to show it in this video because I just washed my hair. So this is the stuff you use after you wash your hair. And you're gonna thoroughly put it through your hair um it does kind of harden your hair the next day but is is very moisturized but it keeps your curl pattern going so and I section it off and I braid it and you're gonna do it to the four parts of your hair and I had to take a break because I did not know my hair was this damaged if you didn't know, I had my hair straightened for two weeks before I had the braids because I was in a show and it literally damaged the hell out of my hair. Do you see this? I've done cut my hair three times in one year already. It's enough. I'm like really shocked. I had to stop and take a moment because I'm really disappointed. I wasn't trying to straighten my hair for a year. But they made me do it for the show. And this is, look at this. This is horrible. I'm really upset about it. I'm really upset. Look, oh my God. So that, so that's done. And now you're going to put a scarf over it or whatever. And these are like my overnight braids. If you haven't seen that video, go back to that video. It's from like last year. Um, get, get yourself, fit yourself together. So you're going to try and contain all your braids into the scarf. If your hair is longer, it's going to be a harder task for you. I'm so sorry. And you're going to you know, put your ears like that. And then you're going to tighten that. And my scarf is long enough for me to put it in the front of my head. The knot. But she done lost her grip. That take forever to speed this up. So you're going to tie it in front of your head like that. And people say I look like Aunt Jemima. I take Biotin, two pills every night. The 10,000 MCGs plus keratin from Walmart is $7. You do it every night and it really does help. And you take that down with some water. And you sip sip, almost choked to the life of me. And basically guys, that's it. Thank you for joining me on my channel. I'm sorry I'm not a good narrator. Y'all have a blessed day. Alrighty, guys. Whoop, whoop, boop, whoop, whoop, whoop. Kiss, kiss, bang, bing, bam, boom.